Hi guys, so welcome again to my channel. In this video, I will discuss about the detailing of stair and especially for beginner, this detail is very much informative and I think you will be benefited if you watch till the end. Okay, so in this video, I will discuss mainly about the detailing of your dog leg or two leg stair or two flight stair. Okay, and you know that as per Indian standard, the detailing looks like this. Okay, and if you blindly follow this detailing, there is no problem. But I think you should know the basics why the detailing is look something like this one. Okay, without wasting any further time, let's start our discussion. So this is the detailing as per Indian standard. Okay. And here I will first uh, point out the main few points and then I will discuss why they are like so. Okay. So first let me mark this one. Okay. So let's say this is one. What is this? This is the foundation of stair. Okay. Then let me mark this one. This is mid landing or we can say that this is another support for your stair let's say this is 2 and let's say this is 3 or we can say this is another support okay so these are three support next is the reinforcement type there are mainly two type of reinforcement first one is bottom reinforcement here you can see this one let's say this is a and top reinforcement this one okay or in this case this one let's say this is b okay so based on this one two and three different support okay we will discuss type a and type b reinforcement okay so the very first one to build any structure we need a foundation so here uh, the stair is something like this if this is your ground level okay and this is your let's say first floor level or roof level what you have to do you have to travel from this level to this level so then you start from this point come to this point okay so this is your starting point you come here you take some rest here then again you go further up okay so this is flight number one flight number two and this is called as your mid landing now when you are standing here at this point okay so you are transferring your load to this stair clear so from this point here load is coming like this and it is transferred to this foundation and to this support okay so at this point to make this foundation what you need to do just like any isolated footing you have to make a column then a footing okay and here you can see that this column or the extended part of this stair here looks like this one. So this is nothing but one type of footing. Clear? And what is the purpose? To pur the main purpose for this footing is to provide the load from any flight to this ground level. Okay? So this part is clear point one now consider point one and point two okay so here is another support mid landing so this is point two and this is point one these are two support now let's consider this as beam and you are applying a UTL like this okay so this is fixed one and this is also fixed one so the bending moment looks like something this if you draw the bending moment 
it is like this one okay and here you can see this is negative bending moment this is positive and this is negative so positive bending moment means you know that at bottom the concrete is in tension so here you need to provide the reinforcement that's why here you can see the reinforcement has been provided at this bottom and near this support zone here you can see the tension is at top so you need to provide reinforcement here and here clear and here if you consider this whole support like this one here you can see that this support is nothing but this whole support but if you further look into the detail of this support itself it consists of a fixed end this one and a free end okay so here when you are applying this load the bending moment is something like this where tension is at top that's why here in this landing part the top reinforcement has been provided top reinforcement okay and now come to this second flight in this second flight the same is being occurred here here you can see that this is a support and this is another support and in between these two support there is a beam fixed end beam just like this flight one here also the bending moment looks like this okay this is plus this is minus this is minus and due to this minus bending moment here we are providing enforcement at top here also at top here you can see that it has been shown in dotted line and also it has been written that reinforcement if required from bending moment consideration or pm consideration normally it is required because as per this drawing you can see that here negative bending moment is coming at the top okay and here reinforcement as per design it has been shown at the bottom because here the tension is being occurred at the bottom okay and again if you consider this to support this one and this one in more detail here you can see this is actual fixity and this part is acting as a cantilever and in cantilever bending moment is like this one or tension at top that's why this extra bar has been provided top reinforcement okay so this is the basic of detailing of your steer reinforcement and i think this is very much helpful particularly for those student or those beginner who have just started their career if you like this video please don't forget to share it and like it and also if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to make comment thanks for watching guys